So this, like I said uh, in a previous video, this is one of the, or this is the original impact uh, driver that uh, started with the green line. They do make a blue version of this, but this was one of the first that they transferred to the green line. So we're going to open this bad boy up and see what's inside. I do not know. I do not know what's inside. I just know the tool and a battery, but I do not know what else. So this says Inteleport Charger. And teleport charger. I do not know what that means. So we're gonna find out. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. All right, so the first thing it uh, comes with instructions. Don't need that. It's an impact wrench. It's an impact driver. We got the tool. If this looks so much better than the ones that's on display at uh, Home Depot because this is brand new and clean and the grips are, the rubber molding for the grip is uh, brand new. So that that looks so that looks so good, brand new. Because I've never seen this look brand new in my hand before because every time I see this at Home Depot, it's all totally messed up. So it actually looks awesome, brand new. Of course, it's old style because it says it's one of the first. It's an old style grip. It is not like this, uh, the hammer drill to where it's like that. So it's an old style grip. So that's that. We are going to, we have some of this. Oh, it comes with a, it comes, it does come with a 3 8 inch socket bit. That's interesting. It comes with a 3 8 inch socket bit. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. And it comes with uh, the standard Phillips uh, extended, the PH2. Put that in immediately and see, they were smart. They put a full magnet on the front, full magnet. It's like you have the base. You might as well put the full magnet up. So I have a charger right here. Ooh, it comes with that. Awesome. I always wanted one of these because it's a good small portable charger that you could. Th this will just easily fit in your pocket in case you, if you go camping or something like that, you don't have to bring like a, an entire big unit or even the the older uh, slow charging gray one. Or even, or even this one. So it's like significantly smaller. Even the the plugs a lot a lot smaller. So now that I have, I actually have all of their chargers besides the six port charger. I get to do uh, a charge a charging war, a charging battle. See which one actually charges uh, faster. So that's good. That is good. See, I, I always wanted one of these. It's a good portable charger. And it has it has a battery. A 1.3 amp hour battery. Your standard battery it comes with, which that's alright. The this one is gonna be designated to uh, the uproar, actually. This I'm gonna give this one to the uproar. So let's put that on charge. Let that charge extremely fast. It'll probably take like 15 minutes to charge. All right, there we go. That is the unboxing of the the P2, the P1870. So let's test this out really quick. Let's see what it can do. Alrighty, we are gonna use a four amp hour battery with this test. We are gonna use the 5 16th socket bit that goes flat out uh, into it. And we're gonna test it on these eight inch timber screws. Let's actually just guide it in. There we go. Interesting. All right, we are gonna time this. And unfortunately, I got to be careful with this because this is wobbly. So we are going to time this. So let's see what she can do. 
All right, so three, two, one, go. Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, the, all right this is not going to be a test against time. This is going to uh, be, what do I need to do this? All right, so that's with the four amp hour. This is full battery. This was full battery too. This, we're gonna try this out with uh, three amp hour HP battery. Let's see if we can get it farther than that. All right, so three, two, one, go. All Yes, it can. Oh, a little bit more. All right, so we're going to put the 4 amp hour battery back in. Just in case. Just in case. We're going to try again. All right, so 3, 2, 1. Nope, that ain't going nowhere. All right, so let's see what the 6 amp hour battery can do. You know what? We're going to go with the 9 amp hour. 9 amp hour is at 75%. So let's see what the 9 amp hour can do. I'm actually going to redo this. Wow. That's, that's, that's just vibrating. Wait, wait. I, I might be... Let's take this out. Okay. Let's take this out. There we go. You know what? I'm going to need a more powerful one to take that out. So the P238 it is. Let's take this out. Or dr drive it in. No. Wow, that is in there. I'm going to have to say goodbye to that screw and just cut it off. Alright, but let's do a 6 amp hour battery next to it. Drill it in a little bit. Alright, let's see. Let's time this with a 6 amp hour battery. Alright, so 3... Two, one, go. <laughs> Capable of doing it. All right, so take it out. Three, two, one, go. I, I, I might have to actually use the angle grinder to cut that out. Uh, I could try to like bang it out. I, I don't know what happened. I th it might have caught an extremely dense knot somewhere. Or I, I have no clue because it's not but it didn't budge at all even for the P26 uh, P238. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to uh, work on that. But this thing. Oh, I already got some dirt on it. But this thing actually performed uh, a little bit better than I thought it would. But the thing is, is this thing is loud. I mean loud. They didn't try, uh, nothing was done to, to try to suppress the sound by any means. I, I'd say this is the loudest impact that they got. The loudest and probably the weakest. So, like I said, this is old school. This is old school, but it is a plus that I got this type of this uh, type of charger because it it it's cool. It's awesome that I got that. Which which yeah, I'm glad I did. So this thing uh, was awesome. I'm glad I'm glad I did the testing on that just to do a little demonstration. 
But yeah, but is it a bad impact? No, it is not. There are there better ones out there than this one? Yes. But still, it's it's not a bad impact. It's not a bad impact at all. So I'm glad I got it. Because now I'm just gonna add this to the testing uh competitive videos in uh, all fall and winter. So the more tools I get, the more videos, more different types of videos I get to do. So that's in my arsenal now, which I'm happy about that. That is the unboxing and demonstration of the P1870 uh, Ryobi Impact, old school. So I do want to get the, some uh, blue line tools as well. So I'm going to stop by the Goodwill store sometime this week uh, and make a, see if they have anything. So yes. So that's pretty much it for this episode. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.